Hello and welcome to this segment of Lawrence Live. I'm Dr. Sean Smith, Superintendent of Schools, and I'm so excited today as we come to the end of October. It is football time. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined with the Lawrence Central Bears. I've got with me Coach Patterson, Coach Will Patterson here. Coach Patterson, who'd you bring with us today? Uh, today we brought uh, Joshua Mickens. Uh, he's a senior uh, in Ahmad Duff. Uh, he's a junior okay. wide receiver for us. All right, and I'm glad to have both of these young men. It's always exciting for the superintendent when I bring our athletes because I've, I've been here for nine years, and so I can remember you two young men were in elementary school, and here you are, you're on my couch with Lawrence Live. Coach Patterson, how's the season going? Uh, it's, it's, it's going well. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in, in a lot of games, uh, won some games that uh, we should have. Uh, didn't, didn't come through on a few that we probably should have as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of lessons in uh, everything that we've done uh, to this point. And I, I think that uh, we're ready to let our experience uh, be our teacher uh, and kind of uh, these guys have been working their tails off in the classroom uh, and on the field. Uh, and I think that uh, we're ready for our hard work to pay off. Right. Well, when you get on this couch, young man, there, there's something reason why you're on the couch. Uh, let's talk, Coach Patterson, about these two young men. Uh, let's start with Mr. Mickens over here. What, what happened here this year? Well, first of all, this young man, he was always a tall kid because when I first met him, he had big shoe size, and so that height and shoe size have met each other. Is that correct, Mr. Mickens? Yeah. You've gotten a lot taller than when I saw you at Amy Bevelin Elementary. So Just a little bit. A little bit. So, Coach Patterson, what's going on with this young man? Uh, Josh, obviously, I think last since we brought him uh, last time, he, he's uh, come a long way. He's uh, obviously been through some trials uh, personally off the field, uh, and he's doing a phenomenal job of mm -hmm. uh, overcoming it. Obviously, he's uh, uh, always talented on the field, but he's even better in the classroom. Uh, another year of being on a distinguished honor roll. Mm -hmm. um, he also committed to uh, Louisiana State University, uh, where he'll go play football uh, for next uh, few years here um, and just today is kind of new news to us but uh, he was selected to be in the U.S. Army uh, All-American game uh, for the 2023 years so uh, he's been doing a phenomenal job uh, I said he's, he's obviously the flagship of our program in our school uh, we couldn't be more excited to uh, just let him lead the way and then a newcomer over here Mr. Yeah. Duff <laughs> yeah he's a uh, uh, Ahmad is uh, one and the same, just like Josh. He's a phenomenal kid. Uh, obviously, a lot of people know Ahmad uh, through the baseball community. Uh, he's he's committed to Alabama uh, to go play baseball here, but I think he uh, wants to find a home where he can do both. Uh, we're going to search uh, high and low for that uh, for him. We, we're going to get his tape out and, and help him out as much as we can. But a uh, phenomenal athlete, uh, even better kid. Uh, on and off the field, and uh, again, another young man that we're extremely excited to uh, be leading the way for us. He's having a heck of a year uh, offensively, and um, I think he'll be up for some, some big awards here towards the end of the year. Yeah, absolutely. And gentlemen, one of the highlights of my Friday evening is watching these young men play. And so I'm going to start with you, Josh. Mr. Mickens, you have, you're obviously a senior. You've yes, come through Lawrence Township Schools, LSU young man. Uh, let's talk about what what does that feel like, and you know I haven't had too many LSU graduates here, scholarships. So that's a pretty big, young man. Talk to us about that. Um, it's a great thing. That was just a school where I felt my heart was, and mm -hmm. that's I'm really excited to be there for the next four years after this upcoming year. But like right now, Mr. Smith, I'm just I got one goal in my mind, and that's going to state and mm -hmm. winning. And that is outstanding. That's outstanding. Josh is. Not only done well on the athletic field, I, I always scan the honor roll list. I always scan academic successes at Lawrence Central High School, and I see your name come across that, and you have done a fine job in and out of the classroom, and so I want to congratulate you about that. And then next to you, you got this young man, and I've watched him play baseball also, and also football, uh, our two-sport, and Josh is a two-sport athlete. We'll get to basketball later, Josh. That's next month. Okay. But... Uh, uh, Mr. Duff, a junior, when you make it on this couch as a junior, you've done pretty well for yourself. And I'm really proud of you as a two-sport athlete. But what do you say to youngsters out there? Because a lot of people watching are going to be your classmate and also our elementary and middle school students. Mm -hmm. How do you get on this couch, Josh? I mean, um, I mean, how do you get on the couch? Uh, first, I want to say, uh, I'll just say, like, I mean, one is I wouldn't be out without Coach Pat, definitely. 
Uh, he helped me not with just football, but in life and then even in baseball. Uh, a lot of the stuff we do translates to both sports. So working hard with him was definitely a big way to get right here. And then two is uh, believing in yourself, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, especially a dude like me, I mean, I do a lot of stuff that people wouldn't think I'd be able to do. So believing in myself is definitely a big way to achieve bigger goals and uh, dreams that I have for myself, actually. So I think those are two big reasons to get here. Coach Patterson, you got two very humble young men sitting on this couch. And like I said, I've known them since elementary school, and they've grown up to be fine young men and obviously benefited from our program and the hard work that Coach Patterson puts in. Coach Patterson, tonight's a big night. You guys kick off the sectional. So what's going to happen tonight? Uh, obviously, uh, these guys, it, our bye week came at a, get, a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we didn't uh, finish the, the season the way we wanted to, probably win-wise, but uh, I think the uh, experience and the competition that we played uh, kind of set us up to uh, be successful uh, in the start of our tournament run. Uh, played North Central tonight at home. Uh, obviously, uh, we had some success playing them earlier this year, but it's hard to beat a team twice. Yep. Um, and we know that, but I think our, our week of practice this week has probably been probably be the best uh, week that we've had all year, uh, just from a level of competitiveness. Uh, I think uh, we even spent time trying to uh, break up some scuffles uh, in practice just because they're ready to hit somebody else. Uh, they're ready to compete against somebody else. So uh, it's, it's, it's been a great week. Uh, these guys prepared, and they've done they put in the work to, to go get a win tonight. So uh, that's what we're looking forward to. All right. Big season, great expectations. Coach Will Patterson, who is a Lawrence Township product himself, and the Lawrence Central Bears, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank them for coming on this segment of Lawrence Live. You thought I was going to leave out the Wildcats? That's not going to happen. Up next, the Lawrence North Wildcats. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome back to our second segment of Lawrence Live. And now I have the Lawrence North Wildcats. We're ecstatic to have them here. Coach, who do you have with us today? Coach Mallory? Yep, we, we brought um, Dan Two Gardner, junior defensive end, mm -hmm. with us. And we brought a senior running back, Ollie Richardson. Coach, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing these two outstanding young men. And I've had the privilege of watching pretty much all of you guys' games. But, Coach, Give us a recap of the season. What, what, what's going on this season with yeah. the Wildcats? Um, you know, we uh, graduated a great class last year, mm -hmm. and they did some stuff here that hadn't been done in 31 years. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, you've got to find and replace a lot of people. So mm -hmm. we've been moving people around. And, uh, you know, we found our niche, and I think we found our niche at the right time here. Mm -hmm. and, and you look pretty good, Coach. I've been out to several games, and you've had an outstanding season. Uh, I do understand tonight is the beginning of the sectionals, and so talk a little bit about that as we kick off the new season. Yeah, for uh, for two weeks now, we've been out trying to prepare on grass because mm -hmm. we will play Cathedral at Arlington Middle School tonight, mm -hmm. and it's a grass field, and most of the kids haven't played on grass since they were in youth league. <laughs> so we've done as, as much as we possibly could out on the grass mm -hmm. to prepare um, to play in this game. It doesn't matter, does it, gentlemen? It's soft, and just keep moving. That's for sure. We're just fortunate to have uh, wonderful facilities with our turf fields. But uh, you two young men, tell me a little bit about. Let's let's start with the young man over here, the the junior here, young man. Where'd you go to elementary school, son? Indian Creek. Indian Creek. You in any Creeker? Okay. Talk a little bit about you, defensive end, to make it on this couch as a junior young man. And I've had some great people on this couch. I think I had Macaulay here. I had Cooper here. Uh, defensive end, who was here, Royster here last year, uh, Romero. I've had great players sitting on this couch. That says a lot about you. Talk a little bit about yourself, young man. Um, I just feel like you should be, I don't know, you got to get your grades first, mm -hmm. and then you'll be all right. And then you got to have a good coach. Coach Miles is a pretty good coach. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing me, especially now. I'm trying mm -hmm. to gain weight. Keep pushing me to gain my weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you certainly got some great size, young man, and I've enjoyed watching. He's pretty darn aggressive, Coach. He's all over the field and certainly making a name for himself as a junior player. And then we've got the senior over here. This guy's, uh, I mean, you've been here for a long time, Mr. Richardson. <laughs> you, 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 you know, you, you're on my payroll, son. I, I know you, man. I'm really <laughs> proud of you as being really one of the outstanding running backs in the state of Indiana. So talk about your journey. Three-year starter, correct? Yes, sir. Yep. Well, uh, when I first got here, 
coaches told me, feel me, keep my head down, stay silent, and just grind. And that's what I did for mm-hmm. four years straight. And then I mainly just stayed in the books mm-hmm. and then worked hard in the weight room. Mm-hmm. Man, you certainly have. I, I, somebody told me guys don't like to tackle you. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You wear number 34. And you know, I'm an old school guy. You know, is it, you wear that for Walter Payton. Walter Payton. Walter Payton. I love that. <laughs> Coach, you got a good player here. I love that. Ollie Richardson is certainly an outstanding young man. You know, if you know, a lot of students are out there watching both of you, your 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 colleagues at the elementary and middle school level. If you were to give them a little bit of advice about being successful at the high school level, what would that be? Ollie, you start off as a senior. Mainly just stay around the people that love you, your friends, your team, mm-hmm. and just do your work. That's mm-hmm. all you gotta do. Right. Yeah. All right, Mr. Gardner, give him some advice. You're the junior. I would say first you got to go to class and then pay attention when you're in the class. And I just be on your phone, right. talking to your friends, stuff like that. What about college prospects for the both of you? Mr. Richards, somebody's going to come call you. What, what are you looking at for college? Uh, first, I'm looking anywhere where <laughs> I can study, like, business and finance. And then wherever, like, football, I need to go to a football school where, like, mm-hmm. the community is just, everybody just loves football. Mm-hmm. And that's all. All right, Mr. Richard, Mr. Gardner, what about you, big guy? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm just whoever come to me for real. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coach Mallory, just you, you know these two young men. Just, just talk about them in general and your football program. What what does the public need to know out there about the success of Lawrence North this year? Yeah. So um, the two men sitting on the couch here, they uh, are being a little humble, mm-hmm. and um, Dan too has is and has been getting invited to a lot of universities and see their football games and mm-hmm. they share a lot of love out about him on Twitter wishing mm-hmm. him luck from mm-hmm. week to week and and Ali you know is the exact same way everybody comes in wants to know who the little bowling ball is <laughs> and you know it's funny because we've always said that but I mean it's true and you you alluded to it when you said people don't like to tackle him mm-hmm. and you know he's, he's he's knocking people down we get a couple blocks and he's gonna go for 30 and 40 yards mm-hmm. And, um, you know, he's the Mick leading rusher right now Mm -hmm. and finished the regular season as the Mick leading Mm -hmm. rusher. And that's something to be said when you can finish that high. And Dan, too, leads it in sacks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you've got two guys sitting here that do things the right way, Mm -hmm. that do exactly as Dan, too, and Ali said, they go to class. They, they work they work at it. They come to us when they need advice. Mm-hmm. And even if they don't come to us, we're always going to give them that advice they need because our ultimate goal is to get them graduated, get them to college, and have the most successful life that they can have for themselves. All right. You, you love, I would love to play for Coach Mallory. <laughs> Everybody loves Coach Mallory. He does a great <laughs> job. And every year he brings outstanding young men to this couch who go on and do bigger and better things on in college and and in life in itself. And, Coach, I want to thank you. You you really turned the Lawrence North program around to the point where no matter who you play, it's a tough game. You guys are really have stepped up and made our football program very competitive. So I'm always appreciative to be here with Coach Mallory. And, and, and boy, he's fiery. I love it. I love that, that enthusiasm. And, and both of you young men, I want to congratulate both of you on a great, great four years of high school for you and young man. More expected. And you know, I'm just going to put it on the line. I need a big win tonight, guys. Okay, because, you know, Cathedral's not one of my favorite <laughs> opponents. We like to beat the Irish. So good luck tonight and represent Lawrence Township very well. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for this segment of Lawrence Live. It's been about football from Lawrence Central and Lawrence North High School. And we look forward to seeing you in our next segments. And we're going to have some incredible young people, incredible staff members that we'll be talking with you about. Again, thank you. <laughs>